What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my detailed review of the X Drone Nano 2.0 by 4D Copter. And this is the little quad right here. And this thing is a really awesome flying nano. Um 4D Copter is a new company and they just got into a RCs as far as uh quad copters and this is their first quad copter. You guys might remember that there is already a quad uh, known as the X-Drone Nano. However, it's a micro and not a nano. This has no affiliation with that, although it does have the design language of it. The uh, original X-Drone Nano is a micro and it's a rebranding of the 1000A, so it's a great flyer. Awesome little quad. Uh, this quad here is also an awesome little flying nano. This thing flies really nice. It sort of have uh, the 1000A design language it looks like, a little mini 1000A. Uh, even down to the uh, LEDs glowing from inside the body. This thing looks really nice, although it does have red in the front and green in the back. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have that pet peeve that you don't like that, but um, to me, uh, I, would, I would rather have red in the back and green in the front because green is a gold color and red is a stop color. So it should be in the back, I think. However, um, it really, once you get your head wrapped around it, it really doesn't matter. You still can, uh, it still helps you with orientation. Um, this thing is a really awesome night flyer, as you might guess. And this thing is a really nice flyer. Now, it seems like they have some pitch curves on this um, as far as uh, aileron. So when you're uh, flying this thing, uh, you might, you guys might have seen uh, the morning fix where I flew this thing in the morning fix and I'm sort of flying back and forth like that. That's because I was uh, trying to get myself used to the uh, pitch curves on this thing. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, when you give full input to the side aileron, um, side flying, it doesn't just go immediately. It's um, pretty fast when it does it, but not immediate. Um, it sort of smoothened out, smoothens it out uh, when you put a, a curve on it, a pitch curve. So that's exactly what it does. I think they did that so it wouldn't appear twitchy. This thing doesn't appear twitchy at all. So um, when you give full input, it won't just, uh, you know, uh, twitch around or go straight into the input. It'll uh, gradually go into it. It's like a smooth transition into side flying full input. So it looks pretty awesome when it's flying. It feels really awesome when you're flying it. Although uh, with that little curve on it, um, it's it's hard to do manual flips. You can't do manual flips because you, you need that twitchiness to get the, the trick, the accelerometer to pull back really quick and get it to flip. Uh, it doesn't work with this because of the smoothening of the uh, pitch. But this thing pitches very, very deep when you're flying. When you get full input, it pitches about that much. And that's pretty substantial on the pitch. And it, that's why it flies so fast. I mean, this thing flies really fast. This is a fast nano. And uh, really speed of uh, the quads really depend on the uh, motor, the power of the motors. Uh, you know, how much pull it has, the props have. And the pitch as well plays a very big part. Because um, uh, when, you, when you fly forward, fast forward, actually, that's what it is. It's, uh, you're pitching forward like that, and the pull from the props is actually propelling you forward. So when you have a deep pitch like that, it makes your quad really fast. And these motors are really powerful. It, the props are really nice, have a lot of pull on the props. So this thing uh, flies really nice. Um, it's really fast. And the yaw rate is not fast on this but it's just fast enough to get you by the yaw rate um allows you to do funnels but you can't do really tight funnels with it but uh when you have such a deep pitch if you're a pitch flyer y'all really doesn't matter much because uh you, you're going to be banking and doing uh funnel turns and that really allows you to change directions really fast when you have a lot of pitch on it it only takes a little bit a little bit of yaw to get you spinning or turning the other direction so you can do nice deep funnels with it i found that the pitch is so deep that sometimes if you push full forward input when you're doing your funnel sometimes it'll get a really tight funnel um it'll like switch directions really quick um so this thing is a really awesome flyer it comes with um 
prop guards. Uh, I remove the prop guards on all the things that I fly <laughs> as soon as I get them. But they do work. Uh, the prop guards do uh, give you enough space uh, from the uh, props to not hit the props when you bounce into the walls or whatnot. However, they they are aimed upwards, so sometimes you do get that um, uh, that uh, really hard bounce away from the prop guards. Um, I wish it came. The only two colors I've seen this in is orange. This orange color here and green. I see this black and silver version there on the box i really wish i saw that version uh i don't think it comes in that version but it's on the box i really wish they had that version right there available for purchase because that color is awesome as far as i know it's it only comes in green and black and orange and black and uh the orange and bla black version is my favorite version of the two but the green and black version looks awesome too um, I'm not really that big of a fan of green over orange. My favorite color is red, and I usually go for orange if red isn't available. So um, I wish they had a little more colors. Uh, the transmitter here is not a nano size transmitter. It's a little bigger. This is a Chairson CX-10 size transmitter, and you can see the size difference. So it's pretty comfortable as opposed to a nano transmitter. So that's nice that they give you this here. It has shoulder buttons on it, actually. This button here uh, executes the flips. You hit this and then hit the input you want to get the flip. It has your trim buttons on there. It has yaw trim. This is forward and backwards trim. Aileron trim is there. This button here switches between the rates. It does have three rates. And uh, the pitch is nice on all the rates, actually. Um, the yaw rate uh, stays the same on the rates. And if you hold this button down here, uh, it goes into headless mode. So this does have headless mode. Headless works pretty nice. Um, just about um, average as uh, most headless functions work on nanos. So um, after a while, uh, it does start to lose its heading. But for the most part, it works well enough for you to have fun with it. Um, if you like that thing, uh, headless mode. Um, let me see what else about this. It takes... Uh, let me get this open. Three AAA batteries. And it doesn't have the screw in it, so you can pop it in and out pretty easily. And this thing is a really nice flyer. I really like the way this thing flies. Pretty awesome little Nano. The instructions manual is in uh, detailed English. It's, this is an American company, I think, um, because there's no Chinese or anything like that in the manual. It's all English, all pretty legible. Um Everything is explained really well in the manual, and it comes with an extra spare uh, props, extra set of spare props it comes with, and uh, this thing is just awesome. Oh, uh, the protocol. One other thing, the protocol. I don't know what protocol this is on, but it, it's on the same protocol as the JXD UFO drone. So the UFO drones transmitter actually works with this if you don't like the transmitter that it comes with. But this one is pretty nice uh, for me. Um, let me see if I have the GXD transmitter in there just so you guys can see what it looks like. Yes, this is it here. So this transmitter here uh, by JXD actually works for it. All the functions work, even the, uh, well, the headless. I don't think the headless works because the um, JXD one, I don't think it has headless. Actually, I have to test that out and, and see if it does work. But this transmitter does fly it, though. So whatever uh, protocol that's on, it's on that. It's not the V2X2 protocol. Someone asked me that. Um, it's not that protocol is some new pro some new protocol that I don't know what it is I haven't been able to bind this thing to anything else that I have um, but awesome little nano 4d copter did a great job on their first uh, quad copter so uh, let's go check this thing out in flight okay so this is the outdoor flight demo of the X drone nano 2.0 by 4d copter got a bound to the stock transmitter and let's check out how it flies. We're gonna start off on low rates. You 
you can see it's pretty stable. This is the pitch on low rates. This is the yaw. Okay, we're on mid rates now. This is the pitch on mid rates. So pretty deep pitch now. Same yaw rate. Let's see the yaw again. This is the yaw rate. Okay, we're on high now. Pretty deep pitch on high. But as you can see, the, the input doesn't register right away. There's a little curve on it. This is the yaw. Same yaw. Little breeze starting to build up out here. And let's check out the flips. So it gives itself a lot of throttle before the flip. So let's check out headless mode. Okay, we're in headless now. Headless mode doesn't seem to be working too well. Yeah, it's a little off. I, I guess it's set by the direction it's facing when you first turn it on. So headless mode is working, but I don't remember setting it to that, that um, heading there. It's saying that off to the corner here is my uh, base heading. Let me try to get it out of headless. Okay, we're out of headless mode now. So you can see this thing is a really nice flyer though. We're on high rates now. I had switched it out of high rates by mistake. So that's all there really is to show about it though. You just fly it around a little bit, let you guys see how it flies. It's a really nice flyer, indoors and outdoors. You can see it banks well. It's fast. Let me show you guys the speed run. <laughs> so it's pretty fast. You can see. And I'm not even kicking the throttle all the way up. This thing really moves. I'm surprised the birds aren't going after it. <laughs> oh, let's try some funnels with it. Show you guys the funnels. If I can get some funnels off. Okay, there's some funnels there. Okay, we're on, we were on mid race. This is high race here now. So I wasn't even on high reach. <laughs> okay, so now you can see a uh, deep pitch of it. There's those deep funnels I was telling you guys about. So let's let's see how fast it goes now on high reach. <laughs> Guess that was a durability test there. We're back up in the air. That was a pretty hard crash too. <laughs> All types of things to crash into out here. So really that's all there is to show with it. Thing is a really nice flyer, it's fast. So let me bring it in. So that's it. The X Drone Nano 2.0 by 4D Copter. Thanks for watching.